In this video, we will move down Group 2 of the periodic table, looking at reactivity. The first metal in Group 2 is beryllium, which is highly toxic and unreactive to either water or steam. The next metal down is magnesium. Magnesium reacts very slowly with cold water, but does react with steam, which we can see here. It forms a gas, hydrogen, which can be easily lit, and also the white powder, magnesium hydroxide, which can be seen here. After magnesium comes calcium, which does react with cold water, fizzing to produce hydrogen, and also the insoluble calcium hydroxide, which you can see precipitating out of solution here. We can demonstrate the production of calcium hydroxide by putting some calcium in universal indicator solution. As before, hydrogen is produced, giving a foam at the top of the cylinder, and also, as the alkali calcium hydroxide is produced, we can see that the universal indicator solution gradually turns orange, then green, then blue, showing that the solution has now become alkaline. If we continue down group 2, we find strontium. This has to be stored under oil to stop it being oxidized by the air. The oil on the strontium causes the reaction to begin slowly but gradually it picks up and we can see that the strontium is reacting vigorously with the cold water. The bubbles, as ever, are hydrogen gas. You can also see some white particles in the solution. These are the slightly soluble strontium hydroxide. The next metal in the group is barium. This is slightly more reactive than strontium and the reaction with water looks much the same. 